We all know that throwing clothes away is wrong, but what should we do with them? In the United Kingdom, there is a company that's helping to raise money for charities, create jobs and business opportunities for people in developing countries, and reduce the amount of clothes that would otherwise go to landfill sites and incinerators. BCR Global Textiles is one of Europe's largest exporters of unwanted clothes and has helped raise thousands of pounds for charities by managing clothes collection schemes. The charities love this way of working because there is no managing the bank sites or the collections, no setting up sorting facilities to sort the clothes, no storing the thousands of tons of clothes that are collected that cannot be sent out immediately, no disposing of the unsaleable clothes, and it enables the charities to raise money and spend it where it's needed. BCR have links with many local authorities and major supermarket chains and, as a result, have a network of 1,500 collection banks in convenient locations across the United Kingdom. So, what happens next? Clothes are collected from clothes banks in one of BCR's fleet of trucks. Many of them are like this state-of-the-art vehicle. It pulls up on site, the roof slides back and then its arm is connected to the bank. Using the BCR method of unloading the banks is much quicker and causes far less interruption on site. A typical two-hour job now takes just a few minutes. The bank is unique to BCR and is made robustly to deter thieves from stealing the contents. The only way to get the clothes out is by opening the doors at the bottom. Another really big advantage is that this truck actually weighs the clothes on site. Once the bank is in the air, the driver presses the weigh button and this registers on a computer in the cab. The driver then empties the contents. He'll then press the weigh button again and the onboard computer will work out the weight of the contents. This way, the organisation who will benefit from that particular bank will now have proof of the weight as the driver produces a receipt. Once back at the depot, the truck automatically discharges the clothes into the sorting area. Next, the clothes are sorted by a dedicated team who put them into one of 75 categories. These categories include types of clothing, seasonality of clothing and quality of clothing. Clothes that cannot be resold can be made into cleaning cloths for industry and for other things such as padding for beds and chairs. This sorting process requires quite a degree of skill. The sorters look carefully at the quality of clothing and whether it has any defects. Each item of clothing is assessed and placed in an appropriate container. The sorters are often surprised at the high quality of clothes that are discarded. Once the bins are full, the clothes are then taken to be pressed and wrapped. The end result is called a bale. BCR export over 5,000 of these bales every month. Once the clothes have been put into bales, they're then stacked until requested. Sometimes the clothes are stored in the warehouse for several months. There's not much demand for a woolly jumper and a thick coat in August. At their huge site, the BCR forklifts work non-stop, loading clothes into the freight containers, which are then taken by road to the docks, and then by ship to start their new lives in another country. This is one of the largest markets in Africa. It's just one of many destinations that BCR send clothes to. Wholesalers here buy the clothes by the container load. Smaller traders buy bales of clothes from the wholesaler and then sell the individual items of clothing to the public. Esther, the lady here, is one of these wholesalers. Her business has grown dramatically over the years and she now has her own depot, several trucks and numerous employees. It's late in the afternoon and Esther organises the loading of the trucks for the next day. As the clothes are pre-sorted in the UK, 
Esther is able to select the types of clothes that she will send her outlet at the market. By tomorrow, all this and more will be sold. It's 6am, and the trucks have just arrived at Esther's outlet. So too have Maxine and Lynn from BCR. Part of the reason they're here is to check that Esther is happy with what's being sent from the UK. Sending the wrong items could result in disaster and ruin Esther's reputation. It's pointless paying to ship rags and poor quality or unsuitable clothes here because they won't sell. That's why sorting in the UK is essential and it creates jobs for British workers. Within minutes, the market traders are buying the bales of clothes. They know that BCR clothes have been properly sorted and are buying with confidence, knowing that they can quickly sell the clothes on. It's exciting when the clothes arrive and Maxine has a look at the quality and chats with traders to find out more about the current buying trends and to fine-tune what to send in the future. The clothes are being sorted into price categories and most will be sold immediately. However, some will look better if they're ironed and as a result will fetch a higher price. The second-hand clothes industry here has helped others to flourish too. There are now many ironing businesses on the market some still using wood or coal to heat their irons. There are also dozens of sewing machinists who set up on the market to perform alterations. BCR keep a close eye on the markets and make some surprising discoveries. For example, here there is a shortage of bras. In this huge market, there were only a few small stalls selling them. BCR investigated further and found that bras were discarded by many UK women and so developed bra banks and have started to site them in strategic places, making it easy for women to deposit them. Already these bra banks are working and many extra bras are now being sent where they're needed. Until now, women in some developing countries were without bras or using worn out or poorly fitting ones. BCR really helped to create hundreds of jobs around the world and provide many families with their only income. By putting our unwanted clothes into BCR clothes banks, we are helping these markets to thrive and helping to conserve the planet's resources.